Hi everyone, well I've just finished making a video about the 10 sharpest camera lenses I've ever tested, so I thought, why not look at some of the worst. Here are 5 camera lenses I've tested that yield images so soft that you'll want to take them straight off your camera and onto eBay, or in the bin, or in the microwave. Number 5, the Canon 70-300mm f4.5-5.6 do. The only ace up this lens's sleeve is that it's a little bit physically shorter than other telephoto lenses for full-frame cameras. The joker card is that it costs a thousand pounds and yields images as fuzzy as Emperor Caligula's grasp on reality. On an APS-C camera, its picture quality is particularly laughable. That's too soft even for video work. You should really avoid this telephoto zoom lens. Number 4. The Yongno 35mm f2 It's an inexpensive Chinese imitation of Canon's old 35mm f2 lens. Well, I say cheap imitation, but you still have to pay about £90 for it, and it's a dreadfully soft lens until you stop it down to about f4. And even then, the corners remain pretty blurry to say the least. You can actually get some reasonably nice pictures with the lens with smooth looking bokeh, but its technical image quality really is a mess. Its 50mm brother is not much better either. Number 3. The Tamron 28-105mm f2.8 This was an extremely ambitious zoom lens for Tamron to be releasing back in 1997 or thereabouts. I don't think there are any other full-frame f2.8 zoom lenses out there which zoom in and out as far as this one does. I'd definitely applaud Tamron for the ambitiousness of their design here, but it was also an unrealistic one, the lens giving images as soft as a velvet-lined swimming pool full of marshmallows. On an APS-C camera, the picture quality is particularly appalling, and it's compounded by the lens's woefully inaccurate autofocus mechanism, and the fact that it feels as big and heavy on your camera as one of those giant rocks they used to build Stonehenge. It's not a good lens. Number 2. Holger Lenses These lenses are actually deliberately made to be cheap and fun, and not really give you very sharp images, so we can cut Holger just a little bit of slack here. The original Holger lens is rather soft, but it does produce cool images. The Holger lens turret is very soft indeed though, which is a shame, because all those special effects are quite fun. And the Holger pinhole lens, with its incredibly dark aperture of f152, well, that would have claimed the top spot in my list, but technically, it's not actually a lens, just a pinhole. It's not even slightly fun to be trying to shoot with that on your camera. So number one, the Lorio lens in a cap. In order for this lens to offer simply acceptable sharpness levels, you have to stop it down to about f16, but at any other aperture and on an APS-C camera, this lens is about as soft as the muddy bog where they dug up Lindo Man. And its shockingly low contrast levels mean that any scenes you do shoot with it will actually look like a muddy bog. Everything just turns to grey. Its minimum focus distance of about 3 meters means that anything you try and shoot close up will also be dreadfully soft. The lens is about as useful as an ejector seat on a helicopter, and so it comes first on my list. What do you think of my selection? Are there any prime examples of recently designed camera lenses that simply fail? Leave a comment below and subscribe for more photography videos.